everything going all right so far? Any word from Hawk? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates in polite company. Anyway, Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. I don't understand how you could just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new ruler. Only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. So Bran used to be Viscount, and now he just follows you around? Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Your hand hurts. A heartbeat, not yours, hammering the beat of a song in its final verse. I'm sorry. Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? It's been a couple of years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their gray. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Cassandra is staying herself. So far, hopefully. She needs someone to watch out for her, so I kind of do. And all for Andraste, I suppose. It still rings right, but the way people used to go on about it, I thought there'd be more trumpets. When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, ass. Point is, the servants have no complaints, no asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin. About the creators. They're not even demons, just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it, but... Always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? So, you and the Bard. You know most bards are spies, right? You were a spy, Chief. <sighs> Look, I just don't want you to get... burned. Don't say it. Because then you'd be... <sighs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme, I understand you and Meriden are seeing each other. Ah. Uh. Yes, Your Worship. I mean, we've just started, so... Oh, come on. Get in there. Show her what you can do. Listen, Chief, there's this thing you may not have learned growing up Canary and all. Hey, I'm great at foreplay. That's good to know, Bull. I didn't mean foreplay. I meant courtship. Oh, well... That's a waste of time. 
You two are good, though, right? You need me to talk to her about... things? No! Uh, no, no. Thanks, though. We're good. The Chargers have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. What would you like, my love? I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did, once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, <laughs> I cannot be certain. I'm making it up as I go along. I'm sure you'll be fine, Cassandra. It's much to handle on top of my duties as Divine. We shall see. So, you've been quite busy? Ugh. <laughs> that bad? Being Divine is like trying to herd a field of cats into a lake for a much-needed bath. Even so, I would be pleased with my progress were it not for all the attendants picking over me constantly. And the hat! Needless to say, I'm more than happy for this diversion. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see you later. Farewell. Well met, your worship.
Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I don't like to worry you, but... Thank you, Josephine. You're most welcome. Tell me if there's anything I can do to help. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. It is good to see you. Something you needed? Is there any news from Ferelden? How's your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. 
As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. All good news, then? Not all, but most of it is, and that's good enough. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. I should go. Inquisitor. Inquisitor, is there something I can help with? Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes. A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Your nug breeding sounds like more than just a hobby now. It has certainly expanded. And who knows, if the Inquisition ends, there are worse things to do with my time. I find being with the little ones soothing. Have you met with Cassandra since her return? Oh, yes. She's quite relieved to be out of the robes and back in the armor. I just hope she doesn't forget everything she's learned as Divine. It took two years before she stopped hiding a sword under her vestments. Have your agents any news I should hear about? There is activity in the Tirashan. Strange elves, like those of the Temple of Mithal. No news of Solus, however. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'd be right here if you need anything. Darling, what can I do for you? How are things for the Circle of Magi? The Circle is recovering. So much was lost during the Rebellion. Lives, most of all. So many experienced teachers gone. But I have hope and determination, which is better. I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Cassandra is handling her office as admirably as I expected. History will remember Victoria as a truly great divine. We'll talk another time. I can't believe it's been so long. Around two years. That's it? Two years? Sweet, merciful maker, it felt like ten. That could have been all the wine. Only thing back home I really missed. What is this ambassadorship about, exactly? I believe my father set it up, but the Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart, so they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dread to Vinter actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. So they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. What did you do in Tevinter while you were away? I went home. Twice. The father was only there once. The mother was drunk both times. I also went to Carinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexis's affairs. That wasn't fun. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. Cassandra in a flowy dress just seems wrong. And that hat does her no favors. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it. Thank you. 